Hi guys, I just want to uh, leave you with some uh, more uh, evidence that I had found in regards to uh, the wildfires and plus uh, more on the pole shift and uh, some interesting articles about BP settlement and so on. Uh, so I'm going to get started here. This w first one here is the, on the northwestern uh, fires that were spotted from space. There are several here in, in a large, very large surrounding area. Se several large fires uh, burning out the northwest. And this was taking place on September the 17th, 2012. So that's not even quite a month away. And what caught my eye here is that um, it mentioned that uh, the wildfires that had raged through Colorado, and uh, you you all should remember that one, uh, big fire there in Colorado, uh, Idaho, uh, Oregon, a uh, number of the big states there that were suffering uh, fires. But the fires here, they claim, scorched the landscape that was left behind. And in it charred 72 square miles of a, a national forest there in Big Bend, California, uh, Shasta Trinity. So I'll leave a link to this article. <clears throat> so it probably is right under our noses there. Uh, something else that was mentioned too that the fires were set. Where did I see that? But maybe it was that last one I that was talking about in the last video. Okay, it says that they were ignited in the past couple of weeks. So, that should tell you something, people. There's something definitely going on. And you have a right to live. I mean, you have a right to life. I mean, your family needs a home. And just don't let them do you that way, burn you out like that. Um... Uh, I don't know what to say. Things are just getting pretty sad. The more uh, gas drilling wastewater lawsuits are filed by uh, Arkansas property owners. Uh, for what I had talked about earlier about the uh, these gas companies drilling um, near people's property and just causing all types of damage. Remember that we talked about the sinkholes. Uh, said that these companies uh, were disposing of their drilling liquids uh, on their properties and these chemicals, really dangerous chemicals, uh, like formaldehyde, you don't want to smell formaldehyde. Uh, methanol and and some others and uh, what they are using these chemicals for uh, was to like bring the national gas to the surface and uh, they have to use you know uh, fluids you know like water and chemicals a mixture uh, and they use that high pressure to fracture the underground rock uh, which is a process that we call fracking um, to get get the uh, natural gas and they're doing damage in the cause of it as the cause of it too so I'll leave a link to that and the owners the owners should you know sue, sue them like that for um, 
causing health problems and doing damage to their property. I mean, go for it. I mean, it's crazy. They're just crazy, greedy companies, corporations. Okay, this one, the Arctic ice melt and sea level rises may pose uh, imminent threats to island nations, a climate scientist says. Okay, uh, I mentioned a lot about the pole shift, and even the Bible says that the islands would flee away. There will be any islands, so there, that means that there are evidence of this pole shift taking place right now. It says the low-lying island nations are threatened by uh, rising sea levels right now. And uh, so I'll just go ahead and leave this for you to read. I'm just going to touch on them briefly. Uh, it's due to the average global temperatures and the melting of the Arctic ice uh, that is causing the rise in the sea levels and so, so on and so forth and um, the islands, island nations that are under threat right now are uh, the Maldives uh, Kiribati I don't know where that's at uh, Torres Strait Islands and many others where the rising seas will bring significant coastal erosion and salt water contamination of limited freshwater supplies. Okay, now this one, this BP oil spill settlement. Um, what I want to say here is like well, it says the Gulf Coast Senators signed this bipartisan letter seeking fair uh, deal. Okay. What the fair deal will be is this. And I don't want to get in, talk into talking about the, the candidates for presidency. Now uh, I'm talking about Obama and Romney. Um, it's not a fair deal because a lot of people are getting sick from this BP oil disaster because the chemicals that corrects it. I'm sure that the ones that are going to pocket this money are the politicians themselves. Obama and I'm sure Romney is going to get a cut out of it too. The reason I say this is they're all investing in, in this. Everything in any disaster that happens they make money. That's how come that they set up this disaster in the first place. Same way with gold, uh, Goldman Sachs. Um, I'm not going to vote for either candidate. They're not really worth. We, we know what Obama has already done to this country. And this particular disaster has happened on his watch. And he knows plenty and he's not doing a darn thing about it and Romney well we know he's Mormon and Mormons uh, I was told because uh, I was researching cause I don't know a lot about Mormons but what I've been researching they are Luciferian they do not believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and they are Luciferian. They are a cult church. And I'm going to get in trouble for saying that. But it is true. It's the truth. Um, so I'll just leave a, a link. To this article as well. I was going to talk a little bit more. About the candidates in another video. Um, I was going to entitle it. Who would Jesus vote for? You know. That sort of thing. And then talk about the two candidates. And basically where it would come to an end to is that Jesus' uh, kingdom is coming. Um, where that time in the future is, I don't know. Uh, but we have to be ready ourselves and be prepared for his coming. 
and I'd rather for him to be my king in the next world than to have some president, some politician, a crooked politician, a Luciferian, a Satanist, as you will, uh, to rule this country or any country. We don't need those kind of leaders because they're not going to help us, help people like us. They're not going to help mankind at all. They're all for themselves. And because they have a plan to depopulate the earth and control a, a small population of us, that who ever survives uh, what is coming on the earth. But God has other plans. Because what is coming up on the earth, it will determine who will t survive it. And speaking of uh, survival and about things that are coming up on the earth, a Hawaiian fisherman finds a Japanese boat and debris, debris from the 2011 tsunami. And uh, remember the Japan earthquake? Well, Japan is also sinking into the sea and uh, and I've got news from that too that uh, Japan is sinking uh, because of the plates, the tectonic plates that are breaking up so it will uh, be sliding off into the ocean only time will tell And also, again, I'd like to mention, too, where it says in Isaiah 24, 1, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And in short, according to the Bible, the Lord was literally caused the earth to be turned over, to shift its polar axis to all of a sudden go out of control. Now, this uh, crustal dis displacement, the entire Earth from its core outward turns, and it implies that the entire Earth is turned. And uh, scripture doesn't say exactly how many degrees uh, that it will turn, but one massive, at least if it turned 90 degrees, that's pretty massive and uh, that can destroy many nations of the world and it would scatter abroad the people of the earth trying to to survive to, to keep from like going into the ocean into the sea uh, someone asked me a commenter asked me was this a magnetic magnetic pole shift no it's not it is a little rapid pole shift. And I guess you would say that's one of the uh, bad kind. And it will cause a major earth upheaval. And uh, you can be triggered at any time. Uh, the plates are weakening, especially the one here in North America along the Gulf of Mexico uh, there along the New Madrid Fault and there are other deep faults in the United States so we don't know where it may hit but the earth is getting um, very at the point of being very uh, delicate position right now for this bullshit to happen I'm at the end of this video. Uh, please take heed to what I'm saying because we're not really guaranteed another tomorrow. Jesus loves you guys. Give your life to him today uh, before the end comes. I uh, love you guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.